Hi, baby dolls. On the question of meme coins, why am I convicted that the strong ones will continue to stay? Well, that's because I'm here 18 hours a day. And besides tweaking my own nipples, drinking cold orange juice and keeping a straight back, I pay attention. I was here in 2020, four years ago, friends. Three to four years ago, I was here every day, every hour of the day. And I noticed that when the DeFi season happened, which actually appears on the Bitcoin chart here, this DeFi season, okay? I noticed when that season happened, the entire crypto industry was so caught up with it at the top up here. It was so caught up right here that it believed it would stay here forever. It would stay relevant forever. They believe that the seeking of yield and governance tokens as a new representation of crypto power and authorization and community on the blockchain and people like basically reorganizing themselves without borders internationally, they thought DAOs really were the birth of a new paradigm. And they pretty much are, but were they overvalued and overexcited? Maybe. I was, I was here. And everybody thought that there was no chance that traditional finance, Wall Street, and all the other scum out there wouldn't like it. No chance. They, because they're going to seek yield. They need to seek yield. It's new organizational structures, and it was DeFi. You're, you're participating in a protocol. They're handing out tokens. You're getting yield. You're doing all this stuff. You know, yield farming, moving things around, and sweet. Everybody loved it. Then the season ran out, and it reset anyway. It reset, friends. It reset. Big time. DeFi never came back, by the way. See this little 20% drop of Bitcoin? Aave, Chainlink, Synthetics, Curve, all of them. They were done. They were done. They barely made a new high if they were lucky against Ethereum and Bitcoin in the following 2021 year. They barely did. So what I'm here to highlight here for you as my friend is that everybody in the industry agreed DeFi was amazing. And then it got destroyed. In fact, you can even see, friends, uh, the DeFi, the DPI, this is like a DeFi index. Look at this, just bang, 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 all the way down still. That's disgusting, right? You're still destroyed. See ya? Everyone thought it was going to be great. This was the resurgence in the 2021. You see that just made a lower high and continued. Today, I do not see crypto-wide agreement about meme coins. I still see at least 50% of the crypto industry hating meme coins. I still see that. Now, I don't have a bias, friends. I don't care. I believed in DeFi. Okay, clearly I was wrong. Look, DeFi can suck it. All a bunch of grifters and scammers and all the insiders were dumping. Synthetics guys went and bought $40 million worth of property. They got 13 daily active users, literally 13. Okay, it's just a joke. It's all full joke. All the insiders dumped. They cashed out. All right. The market is now looking at meme coins, strong meme coins. There are a lot. There's a lot of junk out there. Okay, you can't just go buy any meme. You're going to get absolutely destroyed. The ones I pick and I like, yeah, I literally, friends, in a non-sexual way, I research very, very long and hard, and I find, oh, wow, this thing's sticky. It's got a narrative. It's got thesis. We do our hard work research. These are going to kill it. They're going to kill it. They're too cheap. They're just too cheap. You can tell. What are the alternatives? Go buy your trash tech coin out there. Friends, I'm, I'm witnessing the market right now, and you are witnessing it too. I'm showing you observations that everything's a meme. Did you know that? You know that everything's a meme, right? Uh, utility coin. No, man. Maybe you've got an application that's useful. We don't actually need your coin. We don't need your coin. You don't produce any cash flow. Why do we need your coin? We buy stuff because we want to own them in crypto. You don't need them at all. You know that. And there's not even enough retail bids to absorb all these insider grifters dumping. They're unlocking like 70 billion of coins. That's crazy, right? 70 billion within this year. Isn't that nuts? Or just new minted trash, new minted coins. <laughs> Good luck trying to find retail to buy up that trash. That's new stuff, by the way. They own all the coins. They're not going to touch them. They're all going to dump to oblivion. We already caught the OTC sellers. They're selling at 80% below market price right now. It's very obvious what's happening, friends. So meme coins, friends, when you're looking at a nutshell, I've, I can't believe it. I'm like, this is friends... Without getting too excited, I, I'm, I'm so shocked that meme coins were a narrative in 2021. So I thought, we're not going to get that chance again. No way. They're an end of season thing. That's what I thought. 
last year. Then Peppy appears, and I'm like in shock. And then it dies, and then it reappears again. And so I learned, oh my gosh, man, uh, I've got to pay attention. We've got to all pay attention. And that's why I've been telling you. So meme coins, friends, they give us the blueprint in 2021. Everybody fades them. Sweet. Bull market ends. It's over. They come back in 2023. Before the bull market's like topped out. It's very, very important to look at this. Okay. So meme coins resurge. Okay. You can look at them here. Meme coins, friends, resurge. Right here. Where do they resurge? Funny enough, it was Shiba Inu dog coins first and then Pepe. All right. Pepe, Shiba Inu. And now we have even more. All right. Now, see that? Look, just to show you. Okay. Shiba Inu, Pepe, and now we have big old. See these circles? Look at meme coins, friends. They're getting bigger and bigger. You notice that? They were not doing that at the end. By the way, memes only appeared up here. Bang. That's it. This was just meme coin season. There was nothing to do with memes down here. Down the center. It was just DeFi. Why are we blessed? Market gives you a signal. Meme coins are a sector. They're a thing. Okay, sweet. Then they appear again early in the bull market. And you're like, oh, is this a fluke? Are people getting ahead of themselves? Nope. Now they've appeared again. I am in shock that people still hate them. Overwhelming majority. They hate them. They don't like them. They don't get it. Which tells me the industry ratio of meme coins to the rest of crypto is still cheap. It tells me it's still cheap. There's too many people hating them. And obviously, I've explained to you very delicately why it makes sense that people look at them cheap. Is it because what's the alternative? They go, well, none of your coins produce cash flow. I don't actually need any of your coins out here. So I'm just going to make buy the ones that make me feel good. Well, sweet, you know, your technology might make me feel good if it was only 50 million market cap. The problem is you're launching your trashy technology coin at 1.5 billion. You've literally taken my 100x away from me. You've taken my 30x away from me. If I'm lucky, that even even higher sometimes. You've taken it away from me. You make you're starting there. So people have said, okay, sweet, we'll go build communities. We'll go build communities. There's a there's a gap in the market there to build communities, and it's kind of like a people's revolt against the system. It is what it's just. It's just the market choosing. Now I use this colorful language because it pretty much is. It's a silent protest to do that. Everyone's like, ah, screw it. I don't need your coin anyway. You're going to zero in a bear market. I don't need you. You see, why are we lucky, man? They've to- they've it's shown us, man. This has never happened before, by the way. It's a miracle. It's literally a miracle. It's a divine miracle. I'm not even exaggerating. The fact that we got a narrative that reappeared, and sure, it's new meme coins. You can't just buy the old ones. You have to you have to buy new ones. But it reappeared, and everybody's still fading them. What? What? How? How are we this lucky? I don't know. We are lucky. This is a gold rush. We're taking culture in the real world, stamping on the blockchain. It's a gold rush, friends. And I really do. I mean that, friends. I really do mean that. It is It is something. It's very powerful. Because you're not going to get this again. You're not going to get this again. That's why I really believe this thing goes so far that every celebrity just got a meme coin. It just gets stupid. And we're like, all right. Uh, Ty Lopez, I think you don't actually like meme coins. You don't even like crypto. You're just a grifter. I'm out. I hope we get to that point. Okay. So that's why I'm showing you, friends. I can give you thousands of examples out here. You're witnessing, friends, things like Landwolf gather strength over time. Okay. We're also witnessing Dick with Butt and all these others as well, friends. So don't worry about these little jeet candles here and there. The overall trend, friends, even Dick with Butt against a spear. This is against the spear, man. There's going to be rotations and like and volatility. Who cares about them? Just showing you on average new stuff popping around. They're like new Pokemon, man. They really are digital Pokemon for people to collect. So we are blessed. It's a mindset. I am able to say that though because I'm a hungry, hungry wolf. Some say I'm a squirrel. Some say I'm a duck. I'm a very hungry wolf, friends. And I can see this because I want this. I, I, I want to win with you. All right? We don't want to win. I can see it. I can feel it. And... Trust me, whenever I, you don't have to trust me, by the way, whenever people have a counter argument, I always listen. I always listen. I go, hey, why are you, why, why is it, why am I wrong? Why do you see things differently? And then the more I dig deep, I go, oh, wait a minute. You haven't done any research. The only reason why you say it's wrong is just because you don't have any meme coins or you're completely underexposed. That's it. You're overexposed to stuff that is oversaturated. And you're going over 2020 talking points, 2021, 2020. You haven't adapted at all. 
you have not adapted your mindset. Now, I'm not saying this to sell core coins or anything. I'm just telling you, hey, new fresh USD money. You got to be paying attention to this. It is until we invent the new tech unicorn. That's the thing, friends. So like, you know, I'm still holding out. Hey, where's the new technology unicorn for crypto? Because all we got is memes now. Don't tell me it's going to be the meme coin renaissance. That's going to be the new tech thing. Because, man, that's going to be very, very hard to hold. Because you're like, oh, my gosh, you didn't invent anything. Well, but it could be, friends. It could be. That'll be, wow, that'll be the easiest bink of all time, right? Bink is like a headshot, friends. Bink, when you're shooting them in the helmet uh, from the sh first-person shooter games. Why would... Ugh, you never get this, man. This is this is a true anomaly, a true gem in the market. Usually, the market will blindside you. It, it will give you a narrative you can't see coming. Only like one out of 100 people can... can it's not even in the vicinity of what they even know is possible. But what we've seen right now, man is nuts it's it's wild i can't tell you it really is a divine act coming like with the, friends i can't tell you there's a glitch in the matrix man this is i know man you're sitting here you're like oh well, of course it all makes sense no 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 man i'm replaying in my mind all the narratives pop 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 gaming nft metaverse alt layer ones uh, the ICE, Ethereum ICO, forking Bitcoin, bang, bang, bang. I'm just, I'm looking at all these narratives in my head, and I'm like, and I'm, I'm moving along the timeline to where they appeared on the crypto timeline. Okay, I'm, I'm moving across time in my head. Okay, and I'm seeing these, and I'm, 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 friends, I've covered this so many times. You're walking forward in time, and narratives appear. Narratives appear. Okay, narratives appear along the time, and each time they appear, whenever there's a big season, it's like, wow, I never could have seen that coming. I've never heard of this before in my life. People don't get it. They just don't get it. But in memes, we've had a full cycle to think about them. Okay, we'll play some nice gentle angel music for these people, friends. It's true. It's true, friends. We know what memes are. These are dog coins, though. Now, like I said, there's a bit of a twist. You can't just go buy the old stuff. It shows you how important age is, by the way, in crypto. You still see, even though memes resurging, you can't go buy just Doge and Shiba and Tile. But man, isn't that crazy? You get to see it. So it, it gave you the cheat code. It's like, hey, research. It's like, hey, I was important in 2021. Research me, and you got something good coming your way. And it has, man. There's been some big cracker wins because we're on chain, and everyone's moving off chain from the centralized exchange. Everyone's moving from centralized exchange to on chain. Part of me. You know, so what do you do with this information? Just know that, man. That's your conviction to hold. People still... What well, I tell you, friends? Your friend saw me. I've sat here so many times. Okay, a narrative appears. And if, if it hits like critical mass and it exits, it hits escape velocity, it goes up and then it sucks in the whole industry. It does. Now, once it sucks in the whole industry and everyone starts supporting them and believing them, like GambleFi and all oh, the casinos making money and all these and Telegram trading bots and they're making all the videos about these are the future. Once they start talking like that, you've you've got everybody in. Everybody's been exposed to them. Everybody's in. Everyone's long. Okay. Yet with meme coins, man, I'm like, dude, where were you in the past few months? Like we went up. You should be you should be a meme coin maxi right now to indicate to me that meme coins are over. That's what you should be, okay? But you're not, which just leads us to believe, friends, there's a lot of underexposed people. Now, I don't know what to do because you're in the momentum mode, man. Well, I've turned, you got to be got to get in early. you got to get depression prices as much as you can. you just got to hop on momentum, look for a 50% retrace. you got to figure it out yourself. I've showed you all the, tra the trading and super trend videos. But yeah, there's uh, one, you know, this this is not a fluke, okay? This is not a fluke. Remember, or otherwise, if you think it's a fluke, you think the bull market's over. Because you're basically saying, if you admit that your logic is then concluding that meme coins are end of season siren trash, where everybody is now completely bored because they've made money or they're desperate and now the casino is about to close. We know that's, we know though, that is false. That's not Right, we know that's right. Unless, I mean, hey, maybe you're brave enough to call the top right now. I don't think so. That's why, friends, I dug deep. Okay, well, either one or two things happening. Either we don't fully understand what meme coins are, or there is uh, a top coming, and it's pretty much over. So we can plan for both, just don't do leverage. But I, I really believe, okay, you know what, man? Everyone thinks they know meme coins. That's why, friends, I've, I've released all my videos here for you. I've told you about meme coins. Pro okay, why do people buy them? All right, they're cheap. 
But why are they cheap? Cheap against what? Okay, they're cheap against a $1.5 billion fully diluted Starkware, Igon layer, all these other grifts, okay? Tick. Okay, why are people buying them and excited? And I go, okay, they're buying them and excited because they have color and flavor and personality and it's fun. It's, it's true crypto, right? It's a pure crypto heart. They have that as well. Tick. And why aren't they buying the other ones? Okay, well, friends, let's, let me show you, for example. Have you seen how boring uh, the other logos are? Look at this boring starkware like here's your black and white thing you know what i mean like that's just that type of boring stuff that you're in here whereas if you look at something like landwolf friends landwolf he's literally smoking a doobie up here you know what i mean down he's smoking a doobie he's, look, look how cute and purple he is you know what i mean so this is the type of stuff see what i mean it hits people differently like that it's branding and so the ultimate argument at the end people will always say they're well look Logos and colors and fun can only take you so far. It eventually comes down to the fundamentals and that's what matters the most. Yes, that's true. However, you are implying that your crypto has fundamentals. Do you know what fundamentals means in, in stocks, friends? It means even though your company logo sucks, your CEO is old and boring, your building sucks, the whole product sucks, everything is boring and no one likes it, Fundamentals means it still makes cash flow. It still makes money. It has value. It has assets. So if you buy it, you still have a claim on something, theoretical claim, right? You still have a claim on that. So even though the things, maybe it's a brown logo, maybe everyone in there drinks soy, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so you actually make cash and we can actually value. You have a value, even though I might particularly hate it. In crypto though, there are no, what are the fundamentals? Okay, there are fundamentals, right? It's attention. The fundamental is attention, okay? And, and grabbing people as a branding power, marketing like that, okay? Network effects, that's the fundamentals. But people conflate them. They go, well, you know, I've got strong fundamentals. No, you don't. What do you mean, don't I don't know your name. I don't care about your logo. You have bad fundamentals. Starkware and everyone else at 10 billion fully diluted valuation. You have bad fundamentals. I don't care about you. I don't like you. You didn't give any of the coins to the public. You're all grifters. You're all, you all got VC inside a scum. You're out here to dump to everybody else. And your, your tech is basically you useless because we just want to pump means out and you can't provide any opportunity for retail to make money okay you don't provide the opportunity and that's why no one wants to come and play on you there's plenty of other playgrounds to play on see that's the thing and we don't we don't care about your logo we don't, we don't know who your founder is we don't know there's not enough marketing and stuff out there so who, who the hell are you okay just like everything else out there just give me an example you see so because retail's woken up friends people in the market woken up we know okay you're going to die in a bear market anyway you have no cash flow to keep you up and we know that we're not stupid We've seen that time and time again. What can you possibly offer that's different? Tell us that your tech's amazing. We know that tech doesn't mean anything. People sell bottoms and they quit and they move on to the next thing later on. So now that you've got to witness, right? Having like, I hope you've given you this eye, eye opening, this awakening, friends, that you get to see. Oh wow! Everybody's kind of playing this like hyper casino culture casino game. Yeah, these friends. Guess what, man? Uh, when you play the game and you're buying in cheap on average, on average, you are then winning. Okay, and it doesn't matter how good the tech is. If you're buying something at 600 million market cap, 1.1 billion market cap, 10 billion fully diluted, it doesn't matter what the product does. On average, you're getting crushed, right? The growth's already been priced in. And that's pretty much what it comes down to. So one of two things is going to happen, right? Either the tech coins have all got to drop 99, 95% to get strong hand believers in, or meme coins are going to go up. One of the two things are happening. Or we might find is actually, friends, usually a bit of both happens. We might find meme coins go up and start flipping some of this tech, and then it gets a bit silly, okay? But remember, the first time it gets silly, people think it's over, and then you have the hyper hyper move up. And then everyone's like, okay, we went from silly, now out of this world crazy, all right? But you got to think, man, like, I would uh, just be honest, man. In that world of euphoria, do you even want to own their tech coins? No, you probably want to sell into stable coins anyway, or Bitcoin and Ethereum. Why do you want to own those toy coins? It's almost like none of us want to own, own, own them at all. All right. And that's pretty much what it comes down to. Now, I am front running the crowd. And if this thesis of no thesis, friends, observations, I know what everyone's looking at. I know what you're all doing. I know deep down you want to see a water cooler and a tall building and stuff. I know you all want to say that. But at the end of the day, I also know you want to see some green candles. Every single person. All right. Even conservative people, friends, if you've noticed, people who are conservative in real life when they come into crypto, they still have a gambling mentality because they know, oh, he's here for a short term. You see, so in crypto, we try to trick conservative-minded people by telling them, no, 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 this is a long-term thing. You can stay here for a long time. We try to trick them, but we don't have anything long-term in crypto except her name is Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's pretty much it when it comes down to it, okay? Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, all. Don't forget to love you. Catch you soon.